All right, here it is. In the Holy, I said the Holy Ghost brought this scripture to my remembrance as I was talking to you. How do the church deal? How do the church deal with the issues in the world today? That's in St. John. We're going to begin reading with the seventh verse. And these are the words of Jesus. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I do, if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. And what will he do? Eight verse. And when he come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me. Of righteousness because I go to my father and you see me no more. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. That's how the church that's how the church is going to deal with and have been dealing with the issues that come up against the church that the church out to face. That the false prophet try to make it such a big deal. The church has got to deal with these issues. How is the church going to deal with these issues? The church didn't have to deal with issues like we are. We do. Yes, it have. God's church always have. Even before the church was, they dealt with issues. Eh? Eh? Go back to Leviticus 18. All through the Old Testament. Uh-huh. See how God's people dealt with that. With the sin, the unjust, the unrighteous stuff. Huh? How do the church deal with them? With the new things? Go to John, 1 John 2. My God, I want to wake real good. 1 John 2. And I want to... Uh, 15. I feel like I, I, the old man Bishop Johnson used to preach this all the time. My father did 